let me show you something. I have this form on my website. I click send and boom, a form event. This event is a custom event uh, sent by Pixel Your Site. And we send this event for all the tags that are installed using Pixel Your Site. You see it here for Meta because they use a Pixel Helper, Chrome extension to show you Meta events. But this event is sent to Google Analytics, to Pinterest, to Bing, all the tags supported by Pixel Your Site. Uh, if you open this event, you will see that it has a number of very useful parameters. These parameters allow you to create, for example, a custom audience that tracks just a particular form using uh, the form ID or using the event URL, the URL where you have the form uh, and so on. Uh, you can create a custom conversion and optimize your ads for uh, this for a particular form submit or for any form submit. Uh, you can on Google you can create uh, goals. I don't think goals are still supporting on GA4, so I think you can create uh, audiences and maybe conversions, uh, which basically are the same thing as a goal. Um, so this event is uh, useful and is part of the free and paid plugin. Uh, it works the same on the free plugin and on the paid plugin. Let me show you where you can find more options for this event. Right here, we have track key actions with automatic events. And this is the form event. How does it work? We have a number of plugins that are integrated with Pixel Your Site. They are listed here. Those are the most popular plugins, form plugins we found on WordPress that allowed us for such an integration. We plan to add more, but for now, these plugins listed here are support. Um, if you use such one of these plugins, the event will be sent, the form event will be sent when the form is successfully submitted. So only after the successful action. If the form is created using other plugins that are not yet integrated, the event will be sent on button click submit. So it's a small but important difference because with the integrated plugins, the data is much more accurate. Uh, right here, when we detect one of the supported plugins, we will um, show it like this. For example, I have a contact form seven and Forminator on my website. And we will show you an option that says fire the event only for the supported plugin. So other forms, if you check this box, other forms uh, that are not integrated, other plugins that are not integrated will not be tracked by the form plugin. So it depends on you. How do you want this to work? Uh, if you need to create custom events or standard events tracking a particular form, you can do it. Um, simply click, click here or here. And from our events page, it's very easy to add new events tracking particular forms. But I will make a separate video uh, about this. So look on our channel for this video about how to track forms using Pixel Your Site. Uh, for now, that's all I wanted to show you. Uh, the basic stuff about the uh, form event, how does it work and um, a few options. I'm Christian Stoichescu from Pixel Your Site. Like, share and subscribe and thank you for watching.